it's been a while. I've noticed I've been a little MIA, um, but I have a good reason. Um, I actually went home. I went back to the States and I got married. So I am now married and um, that's why the videos have been kind of sparse and sporadic. Um, it's because I was posting abroad and um, didn't really have a lot of time to dedicate um, making new videos and posting them. So that's where I've been. I've had a good reason. I haven't um, been posting, but I'm back. I'm back in Japan. We just got back um, a couple days ago. So I'll be back on schedule doing uh, more regular videos. So the Pop and Cup and Crepe video is coming. Uh, I've shot the candy video for um, my favorite candy shop in town. So look for that. That's coming as well. And um, But thanks for being patient. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time for me to transition back and to get everything going. Um, but today, what I wanted to share with you is, um, which I'll put clips to, um, there's a candy shop that I went to when I went home. We had our wedding in Montana, um, which is a beautiful place if you haven't been. And uh, there's a great little town called, a um, really tiny town called Phillipsburg that has a really great candy shop, like an old-fashioned um, American kind of old west timey feel. Um, it's called the Sweet Place. And what I bought were old-fashioned like manufactured candies. So I thought I'd share a few of those with you. Not Japanese example. This one. And look, it's got a little girl on it, which is I think Mary. Neko. The people that make those um, wafer candies, which I'm not a big fan of, but I've never actually had a Mary Jane. Um, now that I'm back in Japan, it's it's hot and humid, so all my candies are quite soft. <laughs> like a caramel, but a little bit whiter. Maybe peanut butter? Doesn't smell like much. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It is peanut butter. It's a peanut butter taffy. It's good. I love the packaging. Look at that. Oh, it even says Mary Jane on her dress. Can you see that? How cool is that? Okay. Next. A walnetto. Diamond walnetto. So, if we're going to play the guess this candy, I'm thinking it's going to be walnut. So, it looks like that. It looks like a caramel, but it's not as soft as the um, Mary Jane. Oh, this one's soft too. Mmm. That's good. I really like that. There's nuts and a little bit of coconut. It's delicious. I love it. Only some salt. So it's nice, it's like sweet and a little bit salty. A little bit coconutty and walnutty. That is really good. Highly recommend that one. Mmm. Look at this. This, I don't know if you can see, it's a hard candy. It is a grapefruit slice. So I think grapefruit is a pretty rare flavor in general. But then to have it individually wrapped like this, I've never seen that before. But I'm not going to eat this whole thing because I've got tons of others to eat, but I'm going to taste it. Hmm. I'm a huge grapefruit fan. Love grapefruit. Could eat grapefruit every day. And this doesn't taste like grapefruit. I was hoping it would be like slightly bitter. And more like tangy, but this just tastes like orange. Maybe it was mislabeled. Maybe it's supposed to be orange. Grapefruit wedge, slightly disappointing. Not that exciting. It just tastes like a an orange hard candy. All right, Industria Argentina. So this looks like it's like an Argentine, Argentinian. Taffy. Um, but by the looks of it, it looks like lemon, maybe? 
I'm hoping it's lemon. I really like lemon. But look how cute the packaging is. It's got like little wings. Whoa! Surprising! <laughs> it's orange. And it's not a taffy at all. Oh, It's just like my <laughs> orange wedge. It's a hard candy. Man, that's a bummer. And it's not lemon. It's orange. Oh. It does. I don't think it's lemon at all. It smells like maybe peach. That does not look like a peach. Maybe. Maybe it's a plum. All right, let's taste it. Mm, tastes like peach. It's good. Wow. I got totally juked on that one. It's good. It's also hard candy that tastes like peach, but doesn't look like peach. The Moscow Vienna. Kits. The hell is that? It kind of reminds me of Now and Later's, the packaging. If you guys remember Now and Later's are really tart. They were my favorite. Um, the packaging looks like that. It looks like there are a few of them inside. But I've never heard of Kits before. Um, pink taffies. Again, wrapped in wax paper. Ooh, it smells like strawberry. It's a lot like saltwater taffy. Incidentally, I'll go get it. The Sweet Place has tons of homemade saltwater taffy. I bought some of that too, so I'll try that too. This is a mint julep, which is a drink, right? A really delicious southern style um, cocktail made with muddled um, mint and rum? Maybe. For you mint julep experts out there, let me know what goes into a mint julep. It's kind of unexpected. I didn't I wasn't expecting this lime green color. It's more of like a spearmint flavor. Rather than peppermint. It's definitely spearmint. Not my favorite. I probably wouldn't buy this again. I have something called a Zotz. Zotz grape. I said that like a Japanese grape. Grape. Zot's grape. <laughs> and um, this is made in Italy. Ambrosoli. My Italian viewers, here's a shout out to you. <laughs> so, another hard candy. Oh, I just bit it. Whoa! It's fizzy! Wow! <laughs> That's cool. It was a really fun surprise. Zots. Um, fizzy hard candy. Awesome. Look. It's a squirrel nut zipper. <laughs> squirrel nut zippers. So there's a band that was like a 90s band called Squirrel Nut Zippers. And I never knew that they were named... I'm guessing that they're named after this candy. I think this candy is definitely older than 1990s squirrel nut zippers. And this one's also made by Nickel. And it smells, you know, sweet. Just like your Halloween candy bag used to smell when you used to open it after going trick-or-treating. Okay. Mmm! Wow. That is really good. Mm-hmm. That might be better than the Walnetto. Really buttery. It tastes like, mm, like butter pecan. You know that ice cream, butter pecan? It's really buttery and really nutty. Mmm. <laughs> that one is really good. I love squirrel nut dippers. <laughs> that one is a surprise. That was like stealthy. 
Atkinson's, Atkinson's Sour Apple. Inside, it's like a striped uh, hard candy. Mmm. That's a really familiar flavor. It tastes like apple flavored nomen lighters. So good. Exactly. Except it's not um not a sour. You remember how nomen lighters used to like for me you would make my salivary glands start like freaking out and they would start to like almost hurt and I'd start to like salivate like a rapid dog. This doesn't do that. Just for your information. <laughs> it's good. It's a little bit big for me. <laughs> for hard candy, it's a little bit bulky. So, I can You might consider making your candies a little bit smaller. Mm, maybe if they're too small, they're more of a choking hazard. I don't know. All right. Atkinson sour apple. Definitely apple-y, but not that sour. Let's finish it off with a with a saltwater coffee, shall we? One of the most popular flavors is this one, uh, this purple purple one. It's um, huckleberry, which is like a mountain blueberry. That one's really popular. As is licorice, black licorice, which I'm not a real fan of. My favorite. Always with saltwater toffee has always been peppermint, and the peppermint that I used to remember was white and had red stripes, um, which is just my favorite. Um, but in this shop, they make their peppermint pink. Awesome. See, humidity in Japan just ruins your taffy experience. Gosh, man, look, it's a mess. Oh well, still tastes good. It's gross. Sorry. Awesome. For these, those who have never tried saltwater taffy, do it. Try peppermint. That's my favorite. But to each their own. Okay. Hey, back just with one more quick announcement. Um, because you guys have been so great and um, patient and everything. Um, I know that in my last video I talked a bit rantishly about. Um, people making all kinds of candy requests, and I still can't do candy requests, but I'm going to do a small giveaway because you guys are great. And um, if you guys haven't seen my uh, mini Japanese candy video, I'll put a link, and I will put a link in the sidebar now that I have um, internet connectivity. Uh, I'm going to give away these. Remember these guys with the blue brains? Um, so we have Mr. Pig, uh, Mr. Frog, and Monsieur Panda. Um, we have... I have one of each yogurt bottle left and one gumi cola. So um, to you in the mail, just one, so I can have five winners. There. So thanks you guys for watching, and if you're interested, leave me a comment or subscribe, and I'll put your name in a hat. So um, this will end next week. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.